demonstrate for us what it really means to be people of faith. Uh, you have supported us from the very beginning when we didn't even have a mosque. Uh, as Pastor Stephen, his church allowed us to pray. Rabbi Micah, as soon as I moved to the city, he reached out to me. We have been very good friends since that time. And really and truly, we have been humbled and honored by the genuine love and support that you and your faith communities have shown. This is what it means to work together for a better civic society. And we pray, we truly pray as Memphians, as Americans, as people of faith of Abrahamic religions that our hearts remain united. There might be differences theologically, but those theological differences should not lead to hatred. It shouldn't lead to xenophobia. The fact of the matter is what we have in common is much, much more than what we disagree about. And that's why we're so honored and happy that both the pastor and the rabbi have expressed their support. And I want to give you some words as well to say. Just uh, want to say that when I heard the news this morning, uh, my heart was right here. And I knew that if my heart was right here, my body needed to be right here with all of you. Uh, my hope and prayer is that everybody in the world could have an experience of Muslim people that I have had with you. And boy, wouldn't that solve a lot of problems. Uh, my wife, Mary, is the giver in the family. She's back there, and she brought this tree uh, in hopes that maybe you would plant it somewhere on this land in loving memory of all those who lost their lives in New Zealand. Um, we love you deeply. You are our brothers and sisters, and so are they. And to stand with you is a, a deep honor for me. Assalamu alaikum. I am so moved by your community. Every time I witness your prayer, I get holy envy and Sheikh Qadi's sermon was perfect. I just want to add one thing. The prevention of any, God forbid, future massacre, and it wasn't a terrorist attack, it was a massacre. The prevention of any future massacre in a mosque is not the responsibility of my Muslim brothers and sisters. The prevention of any future Islamophobia is the responsibility of Jews like me, Christians like Reverend Stone, and the rest of us who are not Muslim. I honestly did not come here to speak. Sheikh Qadi said I was supposed to. I want to share with you a story, though. After the Pittsburgh massacre in the synagogue, which happened while I was leading prayer at Temple Israel, when I left the synagogue, the first people to come up the driveway were my Muslim brothers and sisters. That's the only way this will end. The cancer of hate will only stop when we stand together in solidarity and love as Adonai Allah, the one God of all commands. Our hearts are with you, our hearts ache. Please know you are not alone. We are with you, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. Thank you very much on behalf of our community. Thank you very much.